So let's talk about guilt. Um, I think we all have it so deep in our bones. So what is it? You know, what is it? Well, since we're little, isn't it? Since we're little, we've been internalizing people's instructions. Mummy said this, daddy says this, God says that, grandma says this. We internalize it so strongly because we are needing our main emotional hunger, since we're tiny, is to be approved of, is to be seen as a good girl. So of course we internalize this information and then we attempt to live according to it. And the second we don't, we don't even wait for someone else to tell us we're a naughty girl, we tell ourselves we're a naughty girl, you know. And then we, and then we buy into that. So it's one of the worst crimes against ourselves actually, you know. This, because of this need to be seen as a good person, and then we use all this information against ourselves, you know. So we have to have this, we have to slowly grow some kind of ability to be our own judge, to have a basic sense of ethics, you know, don't harm others, because why? Because you don't want, you don't want yourself to suffer and you don't want others to suffer, and you use that as your basis for judging yourself. So whether people see you or not do good things, it doesn't matter. Whether people see you or not do bad things, it doesn't matter. You are the boss. You are the one. And you assess yourself. And from this, we become our own person. It's kind of profound, simple, but profound, but needs a lot of internal awareness, a lot of catching, because these thoughts happen very, very quickly, you know. So one step at a time.